Slovakia is located in the geographical center of Europe. The country has a population of about five and a half million. About 500,000 people, or 10% of the population, are gypsies, or Roma, as they prefer to call themselves. This gives Slovakia one of the largest per capita gypsy populations of any country in the world. I first came to Preshov several years ago with a group of my students from Canada. And while we were in Preshov, uh, there was an opportunity to visit some, some Romani settlements. And uh, that's how I first uh, met the, the residents of Svinja. So one day I appeared there out of the blue and uh, I was thrust into a, into a situation which I had absolutely not anticipated. And I realized that it was, it was a ghetto which uh, looked very much like any ghetto you'd encounter in, in the third world. They asked me to take photographs, take photographs of everything. They said, send them to the European Parliament, send them to the American president, send them to your government. And it didn't matter where to send them, as long as they made their way somewhere outside Slovakia. And so I started investigating the possibility of starting a project in that community, and I started writing to, to foundations. The greatest stumbling block there is the inability you know, of the residents of Svinja to articulate their needs in such a way that those outside agencies can address those needs. So the people in Svinja constantly need someone who speaks on their behalf. And this is a role that I have uh, been thrust into. And not entirely because of my desire, but because no one else was willing or, or able to, to fill that role. The population of Svinja is about 1,200 and it is almost evenly divided between ethnic Slovaks, who are referred to as whites, and Roma, who are called blacks by their neighbors. While the numbers of ethnic Slovaks in Svinja and elsewhere in Slovakia remain more or less the same, the numbers of Roma are increasing dramatically each year. Last year, for example, of the 37 babies that were born in Svinja, 35 were Roma. This high Roma birth rate alarms many ethnic Slovaks who fear that sooner or later they'll become a minority in their own country. Although the Roma spend their money and send their children to school in White Svinja, 
Not one Rom actually lives there. All the Roma live in Black Svinja, which is a ghetto located on a drained swamp just a few hundred meters outside of White Svinja. To je taký všeobecný názor tu na, ako vládne, že kvôli, lebo nie je to ani nejaká škaredá obec a tak, ale že keby nebolo tých cigánov. No. Aj my mladí, včetne mňa, sa snažíme nejak, lebo nejak odísť tade, lebo hovorím, oni sa tu premnožujú a vidieť, ako tu devastujú všetko a Zas na druhej strane si človek, keď si posadí, tak nemá záruky žiadne, absolútne, že si zoberie úrodu. Mm. Lebo sú tam prípady, že človek večer si ľahne, hej, niekedy, a ráno sa zobudí a nemá v záhrade nič. Takisto môjmu známemu, že mal asi dva are, akurát cibulu, mal nejakú dohodu s nejakou reštauráciou, že tam dodá cibulu, hej. No a počas nedele on bol na omši, hej, a prišiel z omše a ani jednej cibule vo jarovej záhrady. Tá tieta moja sa rozplakala, lebo nič iné a, a nič viac sa nestalo, lebo... Ja ho nemám nervy už na nič. Nebolo by ich vykynožiť, ale by ich vykynožila. Ja keby mi dal zásobník, ja ich vystrilám všetké a tebe poslednú. Ale všetké 12 v zásobníku. Hlava, nie hlava. Parem všetko, malé, staré. Mladí ľudia, napríklad môj syn, je agresívny. On, chod sme zabije, že ja sa zabije, pretože sú agresívne, bo nemôžu to znieť, že jak to my sme starší, to dovolili. Ale vám dáme jednu ženu cigánku a jedného chlapa cigána. A vám zamnoža celú Kanádu, celú Ameriku. Biele, biele se zburia tu a ich vykinoža. Nie, nie bude dobre, no ja len tele hútorím. Vás za to zbil. Vy pani vonka, bo ty kopnem do ryky. Vy pani vonka, tam času. No vidíte, ale a za to vaše ľudie, ideme do Pršova a nás zbil, tak koči nám robia, jak sme. A my ženi ich nebehá. A my ženi ich nebehá. No vidíte, a to je malé deto. Dobre, vy pani. Vy pani, ty hútorím, bo ty kopnem do ryky. Ty. A ja vaše ľudie bym u nás. Ja vám ľudí. To sú imbecily. Doslova imbecily. To koniec. Over the past three years I have written to lots of organizations and foundations and I have located three that have taken a strong interest in helping out here. The first one is CEDA, the Canadian International Development Agency. The second one is Heifer Project International and the third one is Habitat for Humanity International which is a U.S. organization that uh, helps homeless people around the world. Next week, Habitat is sending someone from Budapest to have a look at the conditions in Svinja. And I'm going to go and inform the people there of these promising developments. The Roma here are so powerless that there is no formal political structure to, to work with. There is only one person that acts as a spokesperson for the community, and uh, he is the Vaida. 
<laughs> His name is Ivan Červenák, and he has been very good at uh, helping me make sense out of something that looks like total chaos. Brambora, to, to se přiloží na to, dva, tři dny, vřez měkne, vytisknete a všecko v pořádku. <laughs> Hej, a to pomáhá. Pomáhá. A doktor zebere operační nůž, šmik, vymačkne a zrobí se mu druhý, třetí. Tak je to. Je to bezbolestné. A když začíná to ten vřez a ještě není přepuštěný, jak se poví, Můžete dát prevarenou cibulu na něho, když je mladý. Přiložíte na ten náplast. Dobře. Našel jsem, já jsem kontaktoval ty různé ty nadace, co se týče výstavby. Našel jsem jedno, co, co má zájem. Já bych chtěl, aby, aby všichni lidi tady věděli, o co se jedná. Tak bylo by, bylo by možné udělat nějaké schromáždění, kde by se vysvětlilo, o co, aby, aby věděli, kdo, kdo je co a co. Konkrétně. Do sálu, ale to se platí tam. Do sálu, jo. To je v, tam ve vesnici, jo. V dědině. No. Takže já chci, aby všichni věděli. Jo, aby potom, až, on tady, až se mu přijde, aby, aby, aby říkali, ne, 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 mysleli by si, co to tady je, jo, co se tady děje. A já bych chci, chci vysvětlit, na jakém principu ta, ta organizace pracuje, aby bylo, aby bylo všechno jasné. Jo, to bylo na rovinku, jo. Já taky pozvu starostu a obecní zastupitelstvo. A oni vám pomůžou. A o to, o, o to se samozřejmě oni zasadí. Jako organizace, oni jsou specializovaní na to, aby pomáhali lidem jako vám se postavit na vlastní nohy. A ty kvalitní domy, o, oni vám nedají. Vy si ty domy musíte koupit od nich. Samozřejmě, že oni chápou, že pravděpodobně nemáte peníze na to. Takže oni vás zavážou, že vám postaví ten dům s vaší pomocí na úvěr. Že oni vám dají úvěr a ten úvěr bude na hrozně nízký, jako za, za velice výhodných, výhodných možností. A, a když mě nikdo nezobere, jak můžeme zaplatit svého? No, ten průmysl by tady byl postavený kvůli tomu, aby, aby byste dostal práci. Ale zde se zaměstnám, když oni radši zoberou běleho jak cigano. A potom já si oma, když mi baví odchod, tak půjdem tu dali odchod, půjdem tu dali odchod. No. Já půjdu na sociálnu, ta poj, ta tu vás vyrůstali, tu vás vyrůstali. Ta zájme napisáno, a z čeho já mám zaplatit? To, 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 Dávno máme dze, nezrobit se nic, po to všechno kradnu. Všechno vám bere. No a to, toto slovo mám a já bych nechcela bývat mezi nimi. Daj se tak ze extra bývat, tak ze hezda zdaleko, že každý má svůj domček. Domček, se jako, že by robili kolo svoje, vo svoje chyži. A ne do jedné kopy všetkých na trepace cigani žijíce tak, jak prasí. A on ne. Co vám povím, ještě k tomu projektu dojde, tak jak jsem říkal, budete mít nějakou svoji komisi. A ta komise bude, bude, bude s tou organizací, bude v kontaktu. A vy si potom musíte s nimi dojednat, co chcete, jak to chcete. To už to jsou potom ty detaily, ale vy musíte říct, jaký vaše mínění, co chcete. Já jsem od štátu nedostal ani, ani korunu požičku. Jsem přišel z vojny, jsem začal dom stavať. Já jsem od štátu nedostal ani korunu. Já jsem zo spíh to vlastních ruk si postavil toto, co mám. Ale toto bylo chyba, že vy jste všechno dostali zadarmo. Vy o sebe vypravate, že postavíte si všechno sám, všechno si sám platíte. Lebo máte finančního, ne, máte začku. Ale skáďal. No, skáďal brati ty peníze. Když máte to teraz do... Vera, skáďal platí. Chodíte do... Prečo cigan nemůže chodit do roboty? Lebo je cigan zprosta, a pil je furt pil. Znáte, jak my žijeme? Jak to ty indiány, jak jsem koukala na televizor. 
Jak to ti indijani to umiraju od gladu, tak mi už pomali. Budemo umirat. Ja vám hovorím. Na jednej kope nie je dobre bývať. Jak žijú? Jeden od druhého sa uča. Vo všetkom. Ten začne, Rusák, ten začne, ten, ten. A toto nie je život. Co tu udělali? Rozbili to. Co tu udělali? To 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 bol tak maličký chlapec, a tu kombajt, kukurica, žatva. Široko, neviem, na mal, a on tam sa bavil a chytila kosačka, i ruku mu odonačil, i nohu. Nohu také. I nohu, že neviem, a no, bez nohy je. A nič na ňo nebyli. Ani toto nemá nič. Nič. Ani peniaze nič na ňo. No a teraz ona má. Ustala by byť bez pamäci. Bez pamäci. She lost the trust memory. Something with her brain. No one knows what. Something is going on. Vidíte? Čestoval. Vidíte? A spadlo to dolu. Spadlo to dolu. To do kola všetko spadlo. Bolo všetko. Že duka neboli zeci, by to zabilo. Vy ste povedali niečo o rátach, ktoré prišli. Potkáni, potkáni, že tu máte. Také veľké potkáni máme. Jaké veľké? Také. Jak mačky. Jak mačky. Jak mačky. Veľa, vidíte, tam dolu to také dziry. To oni delajú tie dziry? Oni vykusajú to? Hej. To je také veľké, a to máme. To je také veľké dvojičky. Dvojičky mám, malo, 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 and is providing interest-free mortgages. And uh, one of the qualifications of the homeowner is that he must be able to pay for an interest-free mortgage, usually say over 20 years, something like that. And here we're dealing with almost 100% unemployment. It seems to me that the most ideal situation would be to find uh, some uh, authority here that is working or is willing to work uh, on the economic well-being of these folks. I think that, that the symbolic value of this undertaking is, is, is quite important as well. And it is that uh, we're not just talking about, about building houses for, for a relatively small segment of the Romani population in Slovakia, but we are talking about, about having outsiders come in here and telling the rest of Slovak society that these people count. And what, what, what we are doing here is, is, is making them visible. I'm really happy with the results of Doug's visit. He was quite clearly impressed with the need of the people for some kind of housing. There are, however, two problems. One is that uh, in, in order for Habitat to get involved, there must be work, there must be permanent employment because the people will have to pay, uh, pay back Habitat for the, for the houses. So I'll have to work on that. Secondly, I have to organize a board of non-governmental people who would uh, deal with the municipal government of Svinja and also with the Roma committee. And that board would oversee the construction of the houses itself.
Bobku, sovu. The only source of drinking water for 500 people is an artesian spring that the Roma themselves have dammed up. It's located above the settlement. But the problem is that uh, it gets regularly contaminated by uh, big fertilizer, which is spread out by the Slovak farmers on the fields. And uh, this makes the water contaminated. When the communists built these concrete blocks, they were supposed to have running water, they were supposed to be toilets, but the plumbing was badly and incompletely constructed, and it all fell apart. hodnotiť obe vzorky ako hygienicky závadné. Ak ste mali možnosť vidieť okolie, vôbec nie je možné ju doporučiť na užívanie pre pitné účely. Voda zo studne je chemicky vyhovujúca, ovšem jej bakteriologické zloženie môže spôsobovať epidemiologické riziko pri jej bežnom používaní. The settlement grows bigger every year because of new people coming in and the only source of housing which they have are these primitive huts which are made of uh, trees that they chop down in the forest. But uh, those resources are disappearing because the forests are being reclaimed by private individuals. And so the forests now are off limit to the Roma. <laughs> These, these huts made of sticks and mud, they belong in a museum on the, on the Dark Ages. They don't belong in Europe at the beginning of the 21st century. And it is not just Svinia, there are hundreds of Romani settlements like this across Slovakia. Some are better, but some are worse. And similar conditions prevail in uh, Hungary, in Romania, in Bulgaria, in the former Yugoslavia. It's an entire region which is affected just like this. Thank you. 
persecution has been the hallmark of Roma history ever since their departure from northern India, from their original homeland in the 10th and 11th centuries. Uh, why they left India remains unknown. We do know that uh, the Roma arrived in Slovakia in the course of the 14th century. It appears that they were welcomed there, just as they were welcomed in the rest of Eastern Europe. They possessed certain skills that were valuable for the Eastern European economy, such as knowledge of, of horses, of uh, metalworking, wagon building, of music. From the very beginning, they were settled on the outskirts of, of towns and, and villages. And in this settled mode, they have remained until today. We estimate that of the, of the 8 million Roma that, that inhabit Europe, up to 6 million reside in Eastern Europe. In Western Europe, which was technologically more advanced than the East, the Roma skills were little appreciated. And, and the Roma were met with suspicion, fear, and hostility. They were accused of, of being Turkish spies, of spreading the Black Plague, of uh, poisoning wells, of uh, stealing babies. Wherever we look in the West, we see the Roma as, as pariahs, eking out a living in whatever way they could, fleeing the authorities, afraid of, of persecution. And this, this somewhat nomadic existence has led in the West to the romantic stereotype of, of the wandering uh, gypsy, uh, which uh, we glorify to some extent, but it arose out of historical circumstances which were very tragic. The persecution of the Roma culminated in the 20th century. Using elaborate genealogies, physical measurements, blood samples, Nazi so-called scientists concluded that the Roma, alongside the, the Jews, they constituted a subhuman population.